You're watching BCTV. We're all about Brantford. You're watching BCTV, Brantford Government Television, a service of Brantford Community Television. This program is brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. October 23rd, 2024, special meeting of the RTM is called to order at 8.04 p.m. Let's please rise for the pledge. I pledge of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Tuhill, will you call the roll? Uh, Representative Adams. Here. Representative Edelman. Here. Representative Alphone. Here. Representative Amore. Here. Representative Anderson, absent. Representative Black, absent. Representative Bonnenberger. Here. Representative Brooks. Sir, yes, sir. Representative Dayhill. Here. Representative Everson. Here. Representative Greenberg, absent. Representative Hartwell. Here. Representative Henschel. Here. Representative Hines. Here. Representative Ingraham. Here. Representative Keefe. Absent. <coughs> Representative Leach. Absent. Representative Larson. Present. Representative Lafredo. Absent. Representative Maresca. Absent. Representative McCall. Here. Representative McCormick. Here. Representative Nupani. Here. Representative Papalizio. Here. Representative Sharkey. Here. Representative Shrestha. Here. Representative Sumro. Here. Representative Tuhills here. Representative Verderound. Here. And Representative Waterman. Absent. We have a quorum, Madam Moderator. Thank you. Welcome. Mr. Tuhill. Um, okay, a couple of announcements. This is a special meeting, which means we won't be reading the minutes. Oh. oh. Ex officio. Ex officio. <laughs> ex officio Lisa Arpin. Uh, ex officio is present. I see uh, uh, town clerk Lisa Arpin with us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is a special meeting, so we won't be reading uh, the minutes of the uh, September 11th uh, meeting. That will be taken up and approved next um, next meeting, which is November 13th. Um, speaking of the November 13th RTM meeting, uh, just for the, the, the room and for the public, um, as of November 6th, or uh, after November 5th, um, public meetings that are typically held in this room will be held for several months at the Branford Community House because of the renovations to the police station. Um, Operations will be set up in here, and we will be uh, moving our community um, meetings to the community house. So um, uh, just keep that in mind and change your calendars if you have a location set. Um, before we move on, um, I would like the body to take a moment of silence in memory of Victor Casella. Uh, Victor was uh, a much beloved and very dedicated community <coughs> leader, businessman, friend of all of us who work hard in the political spheres, a longtime member of the Board of Finance, and we will miss him. I'll call for a moment of silence. Thank you. 
I am in uh, no, I am not in receipt of any communications uh, or reports or petitions, so we will move on to item five um, to discuss ARPA and contingency appropriations, <coughs> and if appropriate, consider the following transfers and resolutions. ARPA fund fiscal 25 resolution and transfer resolved that the RTM considers and if appropriate, approve an increase in the ARPA fund budget from $7,710,500 to $8,185,500. This appropriation will be used to fund a grant to the Corcoran Sundquist Post 83 of the American Legion. This transfer appropriates the grants while also transferring funds to the fueling station project. Increase a fund balance transfer of $475,000 and an increase to, for the American Legion Post 83 of $50,000 and a transfer out of municipal, the Municipal Facilities Fund of $425,000 um, for the equivalent amount of $475,000. A general fund fiscal 24 transfer. This transfer moves contingency dollars into the fueling station project from contingency, 275000 to transfer out municipal facilities fund, 275000 And then the municipal facilities fund fiscal 24 transfer. This transfer reflects the changes in the fueling station project's revenue sources by reducing the bond authorization and replacing it with the funds that are transferred in pursuant to the previous <coughs> transfers. From bond proceeds, 700000 to a transfer in of 700000 an equivalent amount. This was heard by Ways and Means, so I'll ask Representative Hartwell to give the report. Uh, thank you, Madam Moderator. So this was held, uh, heard at our special meeting uh, on October 7th. Uh, all of our representatives were present. Uh, the first piece there, the $50,000 was uh, requested by the American Legion uh, to uh, offset revenue loss that had happened during the COVID uh, period uh, is from ARPA funds. And the reason why they were going to the Board of Finance directly is because as they, were, they, they admitted, they missed the deadline to be uh, in, included in the earlier uh, operation that had gone through the Brantford Community Foundation, where nonprofits like the American Legion were considered for grants that uh, would assist them uh, to help offset revenue that they had lost during that period. So uh, we were told that uh, had this gone through the regular process, it most certainly would have been approved. We approved it as well. Uh, and all of the votes that we took that evening were roll call votes because we held the uh, uh, meeting uh, by Zoom. So uh, that was there. Um, so uh, that primarily we're asked, we were talked to about that by um, Mr. Fench, the finance director. Um, then um, the movement of the other two amounts essentially <coughs> put $700,000 into the Municipal Facilities Fund in order to offset bonding that would have been, that was already approved last year for the, um, the uh, sorry, the, the Fueling station. Thank you. Fueling <laughs> station. Yeah, got it. I wasn't here at the time, but yes. And that was originally approved at a million dollars. So the 700000 is going to offset that, and we're only going to be bonding for $300,000 for that project. And so that was also approved uh, by our committee on a uh, unanimous vote done by uh, uh, having, having a, a person by person vote. Roll call so. uh, You put that in the form of a motion? I, yes, I put that in the form of a motion. Thank okay, you. thank you. Um, I'm going to take the questions. I didn't announce it first, but tonight I will uh, like to hear questions and comments first from the RTM and then from the public on this matter. So are there um, any questions or comments for Representative um, Hartwell on this motion? RTM? None? Okay. Anybody from the public? No? Okay. Hearing uh, hearing no requests for information, 
uh, we will put the matter to a vote. It'll be a voice vote, I believe. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? The matter carries. Thank you very much. <coughs> Item six on the agenda. To consider and, if appropriate, approve the following transfer requests from the fire department. Transfer to hire additional EMTs for fiscal 25. That's currently our fiscal year. From contingency for fire, $517,623 to Social Security, $19,147, Retirement Municipal Employees, $220,773, um, Transfer Out Workers' Compensation, $57,383, Health Insurance, $220,320, for a total equivalent amount of $517,623. Additional funding to offset budget cuts to the fire apparatus fund for fiscal 24 from contingency. Should we take these one transfer at a time? We no? voted on them collectively. You divide, okay, and that's thank how you. They were, okay, yeah. very good. <clears throat> contingency, 500000 to transfer out fire apparatus fund for an equivalent amount of 500000 Attending funding, additional funding to offset a shortfall in the ambulance replacement fund for fiscal 24 from contingency $15,000 to transfer out ambulance fund an equivalent amount of $15,000. This was heard by Public Services. Representative Bonnenberger, would you give the report, please? Thank you, Madam Moderator. Um, that's right. The uh, Public Service Committee uh, met uh, early October. I believe it was October 3rd. It was a little while ago. Uh, six were present, and we unanimously, uh, after some discussion, elected to approve these uh, uh, item number six, uh, which is uh, three separate items. And I'll just sort of tackle them really briefly, um, collectively, and we can vote on them collectively. So the first thing, uh, the contingency uh, from contingency fire, the five hundred thousand, uh, that is actually tied to item seven too. It's the first part of. Uh, uh, the contract that is obliged to hire 16 new EMTs. And that chunk of it uh, takes care of uh, certain obligations that are required as part of the contract. Uh, that's the 517,000 part. And, and we'll, we'll tackle the rest of the EMT hiring, item number seven. Um, the transfer out fire apparatus, 500,000 bucks to help us you know, uh, pay for uh, new fire trucks in manageable, manageable chunks. Something that I learned recently is um, the, the price of fire trucks has been going up really across the country. I was a little bit curious about it because I was like, okay, why are fire trucks suddenly 2 million bucks when they used to be 500,000? I mean, inflation is one thing, but at 1.5 million, it's got to be something else. And it turns out that there's been a huge wave of consolidation in the past 10 years uh, among these little, uh, what used to be family owned businesses cranking out fire apparatuses. And so they're owned by just a few companies now uh, that have kind of bought up a lot of them. Uh, what happens when a, a big company buys up smaller companies usually is that they gotta make their money back. So they bought these things up and they're trying to recoup their costs. Um, so that is an explanation for why we have to pay a great deal of money for our fire apparatuses. Nothing we can do about it. Uh, and then the third part is the ambulance fund, uh, 15,000 bucks. The fire department uh, gets a lot of calls for their ambulances. They've been uh, riding them in the streets uh, and, and responding to emergency calls uh, a bit more than they'd anticipated. That's what the $15,000 is for. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I put you in the form of a motion. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, do I hear any questions from the RTM? Comments or requests for clarification? Okay, none? from the public, such as you are. <laughs> okay, hearing none, we will put this matter to a vote. This will be a voice vote. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstention? The motion carries. Thank you very much. Okay. Item seven, to consider and if appropriate, approve a request from the Board of Fire Commissioners for the following fiscal 25 transfer. Again, that's this fiscal year. Con from contingency for $1,320,481 to regular wages and salaries, $959,009. ,009. 
Overtime, $96,000. Vacation, $96,768. Holiday pay, $91,392. Replacement of sick pay, 64 of sick workers, $64,512. Uniform and clothing allowance, $12,800 for a total and equivalent amount of $1,320,481. Also heard by Public Services, Representative Bonnenberger. The Thank floor you, is yours. Thank you, Madam Moderator. Um, public Services met uh, same meeting, uh, October 3rd, I believe it was, um, and discussed item number seven, which again, like item number six, this $1.3 million is, is part of uh, the contract to hire 16 new EMTs. And if uh, the total $1.3 million, together with uh, $500,000 $500, earlier, $1.8 million, seems like a lot, it is a lot, it's necessary, the town will get some of that money back. Um, it is, uh, the contract is required to be fully funded. It is November now, so we're actually only going to end up paying out part of that contract uh, because the fiscal year will end for us in June. Um, so it's slightly smaller number than, um, than what you see before you, but we must uh, fully fund it. I put that in the form of a motion. Okay. Are there any uh, questions from the RTM or comments on item eight? S item seven. seven. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> on item seven. Okay. None? Yes. yes. Um, Matt, um, Representative Evers. Uh, I think it's important. Thank you to point out that with this vote in the middle of our budget year, we will be agreeing to make a significant investment in public safety in Brantford. This is at the request of the fire department and the fire commissioner and was passed by the Board of Finance. The fire department's now going to be able to hire 16 EMTs to meet the growing demands for emergency medical service in our town. And this will expand the fire department's personnel from now on and their budget. So next year, we will, of course, see an increase in the fire department budget to pay for these new personnel and the shift in the way that our fire department operates. So I will be voting in favor of this. Thank you. Thank you. Other comments, questions? You want to miss anybody? No? Okay. Uh, anybody from the public? Okay. Hearing none, we'll put the matter to a vote. All in favor of this transfer, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? The motion carries. Thank you. Item 8. To consider and, if appropriate, approve the following funding request pursuant to the Recreation Department's required repairs at Veterans Memorial Park and Foot Memorial Park repairs. From the general fund contingency, $70,000, to transfer out for capital projects, $70,000. And from fund 700, a transfer in of $70,000, and capital out a transfer in an increase, an increase rather, and an increase in the capital outlay improvements of $70,000. Close out, also, close out project 18503 emergency performance contract fiscal 25 the rtm will consider and if appropriate approve the following resolution resolved that the project 18503 energy conservation be closed out and all surplus funds remaining in the project be returned to the general fund this was heard by ways and means representative hartwell uh, thank you madam moderator so um Parks and Rec Director Pelosi came and talked to us about this project. Uh, basically, um, there was a lot of wiring that needed to be fixed at uh, Foot Park, some of which had been buried in the ground just as wire buried in the ground had to be pulled up and put into conduits. Uh, there's also a lot of lighting going on at uh, Veterans Park um, around the parking lot and the tennis court. So uh, this 70000 is one uh, uh, number for the entire project. It's not 70 here and 70 there. It's 70,000 in total. Um, and it was approved uh, unanimously on a, voice, on a uh, roll call vote uh, at our October 17th. 
Uh, say it again, I'm sorry. It was approved unanimously uh, by roll call vote at our October 7th meeting. Okay. Is this required? And, I, and this is, I put this in the form of a resolution. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, are there comments or questions about this transfer on this project? From the public? Yeah, yes, uh, Representative Adams. Alex, is this the, from through you to Alex? Sure. Is, is this finally lighting the pickleball courts? The pickleball courts? The, the lighting, the conduit, the wiring, is this fixing the lighting to the pickleball courts? Foot, foot. Foot, yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay. Has anyone else been grabbed by irate pickleball people? <laughs> okay. Um, that was great. Any, any other comments or questions? Okay, the, um, I don't believe we need a roll call vote on this, so we will hear it by voice. Uh, all in favor of this transfer, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Hearing none, the motion carries. Thank you very much. Okay, item nine, to consider and if appropriate, approve the following transfer from the finance director as follows. Fiscal services for fiscal 24 from contingency $5,984 to overtime for an equivalent amount of $5,984. Um, this was heard by Ways and Means, Representative Hartwell. Uh, thank you, Madam Moderator. So, uh, yes, uh, Mr. Finch explained that as part of the audit process and the overtime that was required to get it done, both, I think, in the tax collector's office and then subsequently in the Board of Ed, there was a lot of extra time that was required. The person who accrued that extra time is under contract, um, I, you know, as part of the uh, employment contract, can get time off, compensatory time off, but uh, was not available to take that because of other obligations to the town, and therefore this was made to be um, an overtime payment directly. <coughs> and again, it was um, considered and approved unanimously in a roll call vote on the 7th of October. And I put this in the mood of a motion. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Third time's a charm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are there any other comments or questions on this transfer? Anybody? Public? Okay. Hearing none, we will call for a voice vote. <coughs> All in favor of this transfer, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Hearing none, the motion carries. Okay, item 10. To consider and if appropriate, approve a transfer from the, f from the town clerk for the fiscal 24 legislative budget. From legislative um, update law ordinances, $600, and town clerk advertising printing, $570 for a total of $1,170. To legislative advertising, uh, an equivalent amount of $1,170. This was not heard in administrative services, so we're going to hear it on the floor, which calls for uh, a motion to suspend Rule 441 so we can discuss it on, on the floor. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Representative Hartwell, do I have a second? I'll second. You'll second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? No. Okay. So we have suspended Rule 441. Uh, Mr. Edelman, would you like to take this up? Certainly. Um, this was the only item that was scheduled for admin services. As you can see, it's quite self-explanatory mm -hmm. and simple, so the committee decided to not have a meeting for the sole purpose. But in essence, it's just an inter-office uh, reallocation of department money along the terms of what the moderator just stated, $600 from the legislative update. <coughs> Law ordinances and town clerk advertising and printing, 570 totaling 1170, and that money will be um, put towards the legislative and advertising for the same amount of 1170 dollars. Quite simple. I would put that in the form of motion. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are there any questions or comments? Need a second. Need a second. A second for. A, 
a committee oh, it report? Was, it, was not a committee. it wasn't a committee it's report. A committee it's not a committee report. report. Um, I'll okay. Second. I'll second. Okay, we have a second. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, we have a we have a motion. Uh, all in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? The transfer. The motion carries for the transfer. Thank you very much. Okay, item eleven, to consider and, if appropriate, create an ordinance protecting li licensed home daycare providers from restrictive HOA bylaws. Representative Henschel, Arno. Yes, thank you, Madam Moderator. So the um, Rules and Ordinance Committee actually met twice uh, between the last RTM meeting and, and this RTM meeting. Uh, this item was heard in the 9-17, September 17 meeting. Um, in that meeting, uh, we, I had requested uh, from the town attorney an opinion, uh, which he rendered and I submitted to the committee. Uh, it was his opinion that, that this w legislation was not necessary because it was already stipulated by state statute. The person that had proposed that we look at this uh, acknowledged was at the meeting and acknowledged the fact that uh, they had a different opinion from the attorneys they had been working with. Uh, so what the, the committee decided was rather than to take no action, which would have been the normal um, case, we agreed to re-refer it to allow them to come back to us with, with further um, opinion from their, their attorneys uh, so that we wouldn't have to start the process anew. So, the committee voted unanimously to re-refer this, and I put that in the form of a motion. Okay. Uh, is the, uh, thank you very much. Um, are there uh, any comments or questions for Representative Henschel? Okay, all those uh, approve it, uh, in favor of re-referring this matter, uh, say aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> any abstentions? Okay, the matter is re-referred. Thank you very much. Item 12, to consider and, if appropriate, create an ordinance to establish a Harvard Management Commission pursuant to Connecticut General Statutes 22A-113K. Representative Henschel. Thank you, Madam Moderator. Again, Rules and Ordinance heard this in, in our both of the press meetings on 917 and on 1015. Um, on 1015, we had a, a focused meeting on this particular topic and it, it invited in uh, members, specifically members of the public that were stakeholders in this um, endeavor to come and comment um, and we outlined the process that the committee would be taking to uh, further review and develop an ordinance. Uh, that meeting was fairly well attended. Um, everybody in the meeting that, that did attend seemed to be in favor of moving forward with the development of an ordinance so the committee decided to um, or unanimously recommend that we re-refer this item to our next meeting. And I put that in the form of motion. Okay. All right, we have a committee report. Any questions or comments? None. And we will have a vote to re-refer this matter to rules and ordinances. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Hearing none, the matter is re-referred. Thank you very much. Item 13, to consider and, if appropriate, create an ordinance which will encode reasonable restrictions on short-term rentals in Brantford. Representative Henschel. Thank you, Madam Moderator. Uh, again, this item was heard in both meetings of, of Rules and Ordinance on 9-17 and 10-15. Uh, in both of those meetings, we acknowledged that the, the working group working on the ordinance had acknowledged that uh, we had put out a survey to the community um, which was just closed on, I believe, October 10th. Um, therefore, in the first meeting, we agreed to re-refer this um, to the second meeting. And in the second meeting, uh, we agreed to re-refer it once again. Uh, just as a matter of, of information, the survey was um, substantially responded to. We had over 500 responses, which is uh, truly extraordinary for this type of survey. Um, we did post in our meeting notes of this, this past meeting, um, and they can be view, reviewed, uh, summary results from the survey. They haven't been uh, looked at in detail or parsed yet, but the summary results are available to the public in our meeting minutes from this 10-15 um, meeting, if, uh, 
members of the public wish to review them. The committee, um, in addition to re requesting that we refer, we refer this, um, agreed that we would focus our next meeting um, in November on this particular um, ordinance. Um, and at that meeting, the hope is that the, the working group will be able to have uh, looked in detail at the survey results and be able to report to the committee on uh, what the general community uh, feeling was with some detail and then further the discussion. So again, this is a re-referral and I put that in the form of a motion. Thank you very much. Okay, we have a motion to re uh, motion to re-refer. Uh, any questions or comments? Hearing none. All in favor of re-referring this item to rules and ordinances, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? The matter is re-referred. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to item 14, a call for adjournment. Do motion. I have a motion? Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll see you in three weeks at the community house. This program was brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Watch town meetings and other videos on demand at BrantfordTV.org.